question that I am asked quite a lot um, is how, how can we grow more spiritually? So I'm going to give you maybe three little things for you to become aware of. Um, and I think maybe a lot of you are aware of them already, but maybe not in, maybe not in this way. So the first one is prayer. And prayer helps us to grow spiritually. It helps us to allow our souls to come forward. It helps us to dig into ourselves. And it doesn't matter what way you pray. Whether I often say to people, whether you stand on your head or whether you dance or whether you are sitting somewhere and you close your eyes for a few minutes or whether you recite a prayer. Because the most important thing is when you pray is to become conscious yourself. Just say to yourself, before I start to pray, I want to be really aware of my spiritual self. And you're talking about your soul. You want to become more connected to your soul. You want to become more connected to your guardian angel. So when you go into prayer, just allow your mind to be so conscious of that, that your whole body becomes, what would I say, changes. You feel the change because in prayer, you help to move your soul. You help to make that spiritual connection stronger. It's like every time you say a word, I often say the prayer of um, the Archangel Michael, those words that God had given. And another prayer I would always say as well is a prayer um, to follow God. And I would say, God, I adore you. I love you. Have your angels each side of me, in front of me and behind me. Guide me. So I follow you, God, with goodness and love in my heart all the time. Your radiant light shining down upon me. I love you and I, I love you and adore you, my God. Amen. And I think when you say the words of a prayer, don't even say it that quick. It's like, even when you say the word I, it's like to hesitate on the word I, is to focus on that word in your prayer. And then when you say the next word, which is in that prayer I've just said, adore, it's to make that spiritual connection with each word you utter. And I know sometimes we say a prayer and we rhyme it off so quick. And God hears that prayer. And the angels of prayer bring that prayer straight to heaven. You know, and they even make that prayer more, what would you call it? They empower that prayer more. But this is not about the angels bringing your prayer to heaven. This is not about your prayer just going to God because it does automatically, no matter what way you say it. But it's about you personally making the spiritual connection to yourself, to your soul, to your guardian angel. And of course, Always ask your guardian angel to come in and join you, to help you to pray. That is very important as well. And I, I know if you practice, and lots of people will say to me, um, well, they don't have time to practice. And I smile at that because God has me praying all the time. I just do it. And... I, I could be washing the dishes, as I would say, at the sink, or I could be out walking. Um, 
or I could be doing the gardening. I could literally be doing anything. And even here, talking to you, I'm praying as well. I'm so conscious of my soul in prayer. And I'd love you to get to that stage. And again, it's it's practice. It's I always say to people, you know, it just doesn't come. It'll come quicker to some and slower to others. But it's like a baby, you know, learning how to walk, to stand up. Some babies do it quicker than others. Some are a bit slower. But don't worry if you're a bit slower because... Maybe the person who's doing quicker, um, how would I say this, is just going to a certain depth. And maybe the person who's actually doing it slower, um, who's taking more time, is going deeper. Because we all go, we all connect spiritually to ourselves, to our soul, to our guardian angel, to God, to the universe, to to nature, to this earth, to literally everything as different levels in one way. But yet, spiritually, in prayer, we're all equal. And that's another thing for for you to remember. So I would love you to, to pray, even once a day, to say to yourself, once a day I'm going to give myself one minute to say a little prayer and to focus on it and to connect with my soul and my guardian angel, connect with the other part of me. And I know I could talk loads about and I could tell you so many other different ways that you could practice to do it. But I think now I will just go and help you even to connect with your guardian angel because I love the way Um, I have to smile, but, you know, I smile at this because God is using his guardian angels and using all of the angels. Your guardian angel, my guardian angel, everyone's guardian angel and all the archangels and every single angel out there to bring us back, to bring us back to our faith, to our beliefs you know, to to that purity, you know, that goodness. And one way to help with that connection is, and I know I've said this many times, is in the morning when you wake, say good morning to your guardian angel, or even when you're having a stretch, you know, but say hello to your soul as well, because this is another step of growing spiritually, is helping you all to become conscious of your soul because your soul is very important to you it's the other it's the other you it's the part of you that you often say who am I I want to get to know myself you're talking about your soul so much of the time and of course then there's the human part of us and the human part of us we know more of but then there's our guardian angel And we want to feel more connected to our guardian angel as well. So in the mornings, do that. And many a time I've told people, you could write a letter to your guardian angel. You can give out to your guardian angel. You know, um, but ask your guardian angel to help you to be connected to your soul. Tell your guardian angel that you want to grow more spiritually so that you will be in harmony you know with everything around you with your life and that's very important it's important for you and I know I could go on and maybe answer more questions on the guardian angel but remember your guardian angel is your guardian angel and can never ever be anyone else's ever It's yours for eternity. And you knew your guardian angel. You spoke with your guardian angel. You even embraced your guardian angel um, before you were conceived, before you were born. Um, I know in a human way, you would have laughed with your guardian angel. You would have 
talked about all the ups and downs that are there, that will be in your life. And at that time, you knew your guardian angel would always be with us. But when you were born, you kind of, I suppose, at birth and all that, you knew when you were born, but the world, the human part of you, kind of cut that connection off. You know, because so many, for so many generations, we have been taught to, what would you say, only what's real, what you can see and touch and feel is real. Anything else isn't. But that's where we know we're wrong. We know we have a soul and we know we have a guardian angel. We know that now. And we know that our guardian angel loves us unconditionally, no matter how good we are or how bad we are at times maybe, you know, that our guardian angel never judges us and loves us unconditionally and never leaves us for one second. So you're never, never alone. And just every morning, say good morning. You know, even ask your guardian angel for a sign as well, something simple. Um, but to know it's there, I think that's a huge step to give yourself a chance to believe. What have you got to lose? And the other thing I would say, the third thing I would say would be, you know, the word the angels gave me was to become calm. To become calm and still within ourselves. That's another step of growing spiritually. That's another step of connecting spiritually to ourselves and to everything around us. And I think that's a practice that we don't do enough. People don't give themselves that space or that time. We allow our mind to be flooded with all the human ups and downs and we shouldn't be blocking those human ups and downs. We should block them and we shouldn't block them but it's like we need to take time out for ourselves to give us that calmness, that stillness. It's like um, I always remember the angels teaching me, Archangel Michael teaching me how to receive that calmness, that stillness. And he would have me sometimes sit at a stream, and um, sometimes on a stone or on a bank, um, and take my shoes and socks off. And he'd have me put my feet into the water and close my eyes. And he would say, just now connect to the flow of the water and allow yourself to become calm and still. And I loved doing that as a child, um, even as a teenager. And even as an adult, I do it on odd occasions when nobody is around. Um, but it would fill you with that. You, you, it would fill you with that calmness that stillness. It's like when I would do it, as Archangel Michael said, become connected spiritually. And in a sense, it would be like the water was flowing up through my feet, going up and flowing down ever so gently. And it would clear my mind, all the human thoughts of all the things I would be worried about or concerned about would be washed away. And today we can't, um, well, a lot of us can't go to a river or a stream and put our feet in the water, but you could practice at home. You know, you could do it for a minute or two, um, a basin of water. Nobody doesn't even have to know. You could say you're just soaking your feet. And I have to smile because that's something I do love to do. And now, 
you know, I know where I got that from. And that was from Archangel Michael teaching me as a child to put my feet into the stream. So this is all about growing spiritually, becoming calm within yourself, allowing your soul to come forward, allowing your spirituality within you for you to grow, to get to know you more, that other part of you. And you can do this in three ways. And I know there's many other ways, but I'm just giving you these three now. And that is through prayer. And the second one is, you know, saying hello to your guardian angel and hello to your soul and becoming connected in that way. You know, being so conscious of it. And then the third is becoming calm and still connected to the whole universe again. That's what these three things do. They connect us spiritually and humanly to the whole universe because God has created the whole universe and it's beyond our comprehension, but it's there for us. So I would love everyone to grow more spiritually everyone to hear their guardian angel clearly, everyone to be filled with more happiness and more joy, everyone to be united in peace and love, regardless of our differences, because we need to leave our differences behind and just have love there. So I'm going to finish just now because I think I have said enough and I hope my voice has been strong enough so I'm just going to say God bless and love you all and goodbye for now.